Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Today I have a Trek road bike from one of my dear um, customers and I thought I would spend just a few minutes talking about worn chains, worn cassettes and things like that because um, sometimes a bike comes in and <laughs> And if you change just the chain, we're not going to get the best performance out of the bike. Okay, before we go too much further though, please subscribe to the channel if you like it. I, of course, get the analytics and I know that 90 plus percent of the people that are viewing the channel are not subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel. You're coming on, you're getting some value out of the content. I'd like for you to subscribe. Also, if you make a comment, please maybe offer some suggestions about some topics you would like for me to cover for you. Okay, so with a rough transition, I'm going to get the camera and come back over so I can give you some close up views of what I want to discuss today. So this is a customer that rides along the coast highway quite a bit here in San Diego and so you'll see that there's just a lot of sand and um, a lot of corrosion so there's corrosion on her chain there's corrosion on her brake calipers all the spring and hardware associated with that and the front brake is just the same but what I wanted to talk about today more than anything else is yes corrosion is bad but what's more important is keeping your drivetrain components and in particular the chain replaced as often as possible so this is a situation where i don't know if after i change this chain um, if we're going to get good performance out of this and let me explain what i mean so right now what we have is if I just pedal a little bit, and once again, this is not with any real um, power or torque, because that's just my arm. But what I want you to notice here, the bike rocks because uh, the tire liners are making this, this uh, wheel spin very irregular, but she doesn't want to get flat, so we put some tire liners in there. But what I want you to notice is you see the gaps here between the teeth of the chain ring and the chain itself. So if I push down on that, you see how the chain uh, will then mate up with the chain ring because the chain ring is really worn. So let me show you again, just a little bit of pedaling and I'll stop that rear wheel and you'll see that there are just gaps everywhere in the way that this chain is interfacing with the chain ring right so that's because the chain is very very worn and what's happened is it's made really really pointy teeth see this when the chain is worn it's supposed to well let's back up on a good chain ring and a good chain it's supposed to fall right here in this valley right in the valley between the two teeth. But if the chain is worn, it starts to hit on the teeth themselves and creates a much bigger valley and then also will sharpen up the teeth, right? So you can see it here. And it's just, it's just going to cause a lot of problems if I replace this chain. Now, for reference, if you look at this inner chain ring you can see the nice square tops and these are nice or I should say these are nice square tops like they're supposed to be but these are very very pointy and that's not good uh, but my customer has a, a budget she doesn't want to spend more than 125 on on this bike so we have a chain chain replacement we have derailleur adjustment to do and, uh, and then some cleaning to do. So we don't have enough funds left over in the budget to 
replace the chain ring and something else I wanted to point out to you. So if you look here, this is the tension pulley and that's also not sitting very well in the teeth. And if you notice, they are very pointy as well, right? See that there? And if you compare that with even just the upper pulley, um, that's gonna be hard to film. So maybe I'll grab one off the shelf. But you can see these teeth are a lot flatter across the top and that's much better. Uh, but this top pulley doesn't get that much stress. This top pulley is called the guide pulley. And what it does is it takes the chain, guides it. So the easiest way to remember is that top pulley guides the chain from the cassette into the derailleur cage. So it guides it. And then this bottom pulley is called a tension pulley. And that provides the tension to keep your chain taut and not bounce around and come off of either your chain rings or your cassette. So this is called a tension pulley and the upper one is called a guide pulley. The guide pulley doesn't have as much stress, so that's why those tops are pretty, on the teeth are pretty flat. But if you look at this pulley, it is really, really worn. Now, remember we talked about the $125 budget. Well, these pulleys can be anywhere from $20 to $30, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. But they're hard to find these days during this pandemic and it's almost easier to find a derailleur, a rear derailleur, which is, you know, anywhere from, let's say, 40, 50, 60, $70. This is a situation I've come across a lot during this pandemic and lockdown. Today is September the 9th of 2021, and we just still have a, a very significant part shortage. So we can't find the pulleys, but I can find a rear derailleur. <laughs> but you know she doesn't want to spend that much money on this bike and i completely understand but we also have some other problems where for example the rear derail i'm sorry the rear brake cable is very corroded the cable has swollen quite a bit inside the housing and so the brake action is very 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 hard and um you know, not uh, not being stereotypical, but I know this customer. She doesn't use the front brake. So the rear brake is her primary brake. And it would be best that she had much better lever feel. Right now, it's, it's very, very hard to squeeze. But we'll have to figure that out too because then that puts us out of the budget for sure. All right. Well, that's all for today. Just wanted to give you an example of how bad a chain ring and a chain combination can get once you've got too much wear on the chain and it starts to wear down the other components. Okay, if you found this video, you know, informational, if you found it in, uh, enriching your um, cycling knowledge, then please smash that like button. Please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, uh, hit that notification bell. But uh, in the meantime, we will see you up the road.